Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. That's me, your bastards. G'day. Well, guess what's happening? So, I'm cutting, we're going to be slicing the bacon today because we washed it all down yesterday. We cooked it in the oven, it's all ready to go. But first, I've got to, everything's got to be pulled out and totally washed down because it hasn't been used for a couple of months. And what I did was I sprayed it with a bit of vegetable oil spray, the oven spray can top, you know, tsh, to um, put a bit of protection. But of course that dried and uh, cause it hasn't been used for a while, it's all like stuck yucky poos. So what I've got to do is wash it all down. So I'm washing it all down now, and then I can put it all together and we can start slicing up some bacon guys. Cause Sunday is bacon day. Bacon, spaghetti, on toast. Yum. Right, let me get back into this cleaning shit. Alright, well we just had a got hit by an earthquake. Like um I didn't feel it like standing here. I just noticed the water tank there, see all the water on the side? That was splashed. And it was just like a free jolts, wasn't it, hun? Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So it was just a um one, two, three jolt and the water tank just splashed up with all the water come out, look. But nothing happened here. I didn't feel nothing. You feel it, I? Oh, you bitch. You feel everything, don't you? Yeah. Yes. She's the girl. Good morning, I. Good morning. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ta-da. Ta-da. Right. So I'm back in to clean this. So, like I said, what I've done was I sprayed it all with um, spray oil. But the trouble is, it's been sitting for, for so long, it needs that bloody clean up. Look at it. Look. My God, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. But... Everything's got to be clean with me guys, same as when I do my chickens, okay? Disinfect everything down first, make sure everything is clean, and then I start the process through. Everything's got to be clean, because food poisoning, guys, you don't want that shit, literally. Right, we're all back together. So I turn the aircon on in the kitchen? Yes, we have aircon in the kitchen. So what the fuck are you doing with aircon in the kitchen? Well, you live in the tropics, mate, I tell you. You want it everywhere. So, you only need a couple of tools to pull these apart. <laughs> and a drill with a um, socket screwdriver attachment. So it's just a matter of undoing all these bolts and taking this off and undoing the screws under here, taking the bolts off. And it all comes back to good again. So remember, guys, keep it nice and clean. Keep your hygiene right. And um, just think about it before you do it. There's no rush. It's like, oh, I'm going to clean. It's going to take an hour. I'd rather spend an hour cleaning something than spending a week spewing and shitting, you know, like, no way, you know, like like a grease gun, mate. <laughs> See that car over there 20 metres back? <laughs> oh, spray paint, oh! Right, so I'm gonna pack all these ones up, get the room cold with the air con, and um, I can pull out the bacon. I'll do this one today in packets of uh, 250 grams each. And that's enough for um, Chick Chick I and me. Chick Chick me and I I. It's enough for us. Right, let's do it. Right, look at this. Now this is what I call bacon. Look how thick that is, look. Yummy. I like nice thick bacon. Absolutely gorgeous. Why are we whispering? Because we don't want anyone to know what we're doing. They'll come and take it from us. Shh. Right, so the one thing you get, this is the end bit that goes down. This is the last piece. But this still goes good. I cut this up into cubes. And Chick can use that in um, different meals. So while we're here, so I've had to cut off a little bit on the ends here. These are the end bits, these two. That's, so it fits off this end here, and this end here, so it fits into my machine. But I've got a couple of bits here just to test. You can't, you can't cut up bacon without giving it a test. You know, gotta test it. Well, I said, it's like cooking a cake. You can't, you can't make a cake without testing it, guys. <laughs> Honest, guys, don't buy bacon. Do it yourself, it's so easy. And you don't need a big machine like this. Like Stu used to make up heaps of it when he was in Manila, and he cut it all by hand himself. So it's easy done. Is he done? But look at this, look. This is the belly. This is the belly, look. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love being a farmer. 
There you go. That's the little bit that's left. But have a look at this. Remember, guys, seriously, it's so easy to make. You've seen how I do it. It's so easy. And it's cheap. It's cheaper than buying bacon. Secondly, it is more tastier. That is more tastier bacon. And knowing that you did it yourself, it just even tastes better again. And remember, only one thing goes better with bacon. More bacon. Yummy. So that's the belly pork. Look at that. It's the belly and that's the loin. Right, we've got one more big block to do over here now. Look at this one. So this one's done with skin on. So underneath the high heat under the griller, with skin on, it actually comes good. This one was done with skin off. And of course, belly and loin again. So this is what we're going to be slicing now, guys. It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? William, you scare me. Ah! Is that a thing of beauty, guys? Is that something of beauty? Right, all finished. So these ones here, I'll cube up for a chick chick. I'll take the skin off at first. Of these ones here, take the skin off, and it's going to be cubed up. So this is, like I said, this is the loin bacon. This is the loin and belly together here. Okay, this one here. I took the skin off of this before I did it. So it sort of falls apart, but hey, it's still bacon. This is the belly. Beautiful belly bacon. Nice and thick, guys. Nice and thick. And of course, be yummy, 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 yummy. This is the favourite ones I love. These ones here. Loin and belly together. That's what I like. Put that on a bacon sandwich, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Right, so I'm cooking up some more for the dogs now. Last little bit. And um, I'll be back here till later on, guys. Right, another good one for this as well. I said this is good for chicks' dishes as well. She does noodles or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, put this one in your spaghetti bolognese. It's nice as well. Yes, yes, yes. And another good one I just use. When I mince up my, my pies, when I make up my, not my pies, sorry. When I mince up my meat to make hamburgers and put them through the hamburger press that I have is put the meat through that put the spices through and also put some of these through it as well that all goes through the mixer and grinds it all up together so you've got a beef patty with a nice bacon tinge to it so nothing is wasted it goes down very good guys right so these go into packets now there's six to a pack that's 250 grams onto there they go into like yay one wire it's got these large ones here which I cut in half and that makes it perfect. We used to wrap them up in cling wrap before. Now put them through the vac pack and voila, there we go. Let's see, we have it, guys. And they go straight into the freezer nicely. So 250 gram packs. So easy to do. I'll get into all this and I'll come back to you. Right, all finished. So this is how we went. So we had those two loin parts. So they were like these ones here. Okay. So they were like these ones, the loins with the tails. So we've got four packets of those, 250 grams each. So that's four packets of those. The tail bacon or the belly bacon, we've got four packets of those, 250 grams each. And this is just the loin. This is one that I uh, took the skin off, so all the, the tails fell off of it. Where these ones, they stayed together. But these ones, it actually, the tails fell off. So they're all in here. So that's just giving me 300 grams that we can use for um, one big cook up breakfast. These ones are just the eye bacons. These ones here, so two packs of those, and also a packet of the end bits that won't go through the machine that she can put into her cooking. So there you go. So we ended up with what? Four, eight, eight, 10, 11, so 12. We end up with 12 packets in total. So that'll keep us going for a bit. All right, guys, remember buy bacon? No. Make your own bacon, yes. Remember, it's so easy to make and you can do it yourself. You don't need a big slicer like this. All you need is a good sharp knife and you can cut it up yourself so easy. So either cure it and then cut it or cure it and bake it in the oven, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, then when it's 150 internal, take it back out again. Or you can just eat the whole lot as it is. What do you think, I good? All right guys, that's us on the Aussie farm in the Philippines. This is us making home farm bacon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe or bye.